So a fun fact about me is that one of my parents is a researcher, is not a native English speaker. And so from a certain point of view, academic English is kind of a native dialect to me. At least to the extent that I grew up with a parent who would actually correct me when I used the word gender to refer to the categories of human maleness and human femaleness, because from the most academic, technical, traditional point of view, that is wrong. For most of the English language, the word for the categories of maleness and femaleness, man and woman, as it pertained to humans, was always, always, always sex, regardless of whether you were talking about your junk or your cultural gender role, the word was sex. And the colloquial definition shift happened when the word sex started to take on some of its modern connotations in the 19th century, and the Victorians got squeamish because they suffered from being the Victorians and they reached for any serviceable synonym. Traditionally, the word gender was a grammatical term. It referred to a type of noun category that determined how you modify things like pronouns, adjectives, and articles to make them suit any particular noun. Like, for example, la danse, le vin, en hest, et hus, et cetera. So do I think the word gender can and should only refer to that grammatical concept? No. Of course not, and neither do you. But in order to agree with me on that, you're also going to have to agree that cultural concepts shift over time. So due to the linguistic background from which I come, when I hear people saying things like it's important to use the English language in a traditional scholarly manner, therefore gender is biological? Yes, I think you're probably a bigot. Yes, I think you don't understand how language changes over time, but most importantly, I think you're a poser.